This is the first of NATO Review's video updates on the issues and events surrounding the Strasbourg KL Summit. We'll try to show you some of the preparations that have been going on and some of the things happening on the periphery. The journey started 200 or 300 kilometers up the motorway there in Brussels and we're heading on to Strasbourg. We're just about to cross over the French border and this is our first stop because this, the European passport, will be needed on this border for the first time in many years. That's because France and Germany have suspended the Schengen agreements and reactivated their border controls. This is a measure against potential movement of terrorists. So that's stage one. And now we're going to move on to Strasbourg. As we come into Strasbourg, one of the main things that we know we will encounter is the high levels of security. Security is a major issue at this summit. Um, there are uh, AWACS planes that will be uh, flying over the uh, summit during the days of the event. There are anti-aircraft guns that have been positioned uh, in the outskirts of the city. The, uh, the river running through the city centre will be closed down as will certain sections of the city and badges are being distributed to uh, shopkeepers, residents, students. The police presence uh, on the French side of the border will be about 15,000 police and troops and a similar number on the German side of the border. Why all of this uh, and why is it necessary? Well, one of the key reasons is that there will be an estimated 20 to 50,000 protesters who will be uh, attending the summit and the events around the summit uh, and clearly most of those protesters uh, can be expected to be peaceful ones but uh, there's no guarantee that that will be the case until the end and in many respects the preparations that are being made here are very similar to those being taken in London for the G20 summit which is directly preceding the NATO summit. Once we arrived in Strasbourg, our first stop was a television station where preparations for the summit's first pre-event were taking place. This is the night before the day after of the Youth Summit, which is an event which looks to the future of NATO. This is a rehearsal for what will be happening tomorrow, where the NATO Secretary General will also be speaking. And there will be 350 international students and young professionals from 57 different nations who will be debating the way forward for NATO to the year 2020. The event, which will be attended by leading journalists from the Financial Times and The Economist, as well as academics and philosophers, will be one of the main subjects of tomorrow's NATO Review video update. 